Hello everyone, in this session we will discuss about cumulative distribution function. So first let us see the definition of it. Cumulative distribution function of a specific random variable x is defined as fx of x is equal to p of x less than or equal to x. So CDF is represented with the capital letter F and the random variable capital X. This is your random variable, this is your CDF and the small x takes the value of the random variable capital X or we can also say it as a corresponding independent variable small x. So always the CDF is nothing but the accumulation of the probabilities may be summation or integration depending on type of random variable. For discrete random variables it would be summation and for continuous random variables it will be integration. We can also understand the CDF as the probability of random variable taking the values less than or equal to x. We can also represent it as fx of x is equal to p of x less than or equal to x equal to summation of all the values p of xy, xi where x is less than or equal to xy. Now for example, fx of 3, if I say fx of 3, it means that the probability of the random variable from minus infinity to 3, nothing but adding all the probabilities of the random variable from minus infinity to 3. So we know that the CDF is represented as fx of x. So fx of x indicates the CDF of random variable capital X as a function of its independent variable small x. Now similarly the CDFs of random variables x, y, u, v are fx of x, fy of y, fu of u, fv of small v. So now the next one properties, properties of CDF, cumulative distribution function. So first property is fx of minus infinity is equal to 0. So when we see fx of minus infinity, we need to understand it as it is nothing but the probability of x taking the values less than or equal to minus infinity and we know that below minus infinity or less than or equal to minus infinity there would there won't be any random variables so hence the cdf would be equal to 0 the second property is fx of infinity is equal to 1 so fx of infinity is probability of x taking the values less than or equal to infinity. So this would take complete sample space into account. So we, and we also know that p of s from the second axiom of probability that the probability of the entire sample space is equal to 1. So therefore fx of infinity is equal to the probability of x taking the values less than or equal to infinity is equal to 1. Next one, third property fx of x greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1. Now we know that the CDF is the accumulation or summation of the probabilities. It is nothing but accumulation or summation of the probabilities. Therefore, it would never be a negative value. It would be 
greater than greater than or equal to 0 and it would be less than or equal to 1. Next fx of x1 less than or equal to fx of 2. Sorry, it is here fx of x2 it is. fx of x1 less than or equal to fx of x2. If x1 is less than x2. So, this property states that CDF is a non-decreasing function. CDF is a non-decreasing function. You know that CDF usually of a discrete random variable is a staircase waveform. So, because again the reason is same because the CDF is the accumulation of probabilities therefore, the function will never decrease. That is the reason fx of x2 will be greater than fx of x1. Next the probability of x greater than x1 and less than or equal to x2 is equal to fx of x2 minus fx of x1 where, where x2 is greater than x1 where x2 is greater than x1. So, this property states that we can find the probabilities we can find the probabilities from the CDF values. Once we know the CDF values, we can find out the probabilities. The last property, sixth property, fx of x plus is equal to fx of x. So, this we can understand with the graph. So, assume it is in uh, let us take in uh, CDF graph x axis capital x random variable and y axis fx of x and assume this is your CDF this is it some 1, 2 and these are the values 0 0.3, some 0 0.6 and this is 1 because always remember the CDF starts from 0 and ends at 1 and continues to be 1 to infinity. Now, if you see the value Now, if you see the value at x is equal to 0, this point is what is here x is equal to 0, at x equal to 0 is 0 0.3 and at x is equal to 0 plus anywhere here, what is its value? Same 0 0.3. So, till the next random variable, the value remains the same. So, this is what the property is stating fx of x plus is equal to fx of x. So, next is the types of PDF sorry types of uh, cumulative distribution function CDF. So, depending on the nature of random variable the CDF can be any one of the following types. It can be continuous CDF, discrete CDF, mixed CDF. So, for example, if it is a continuous CDF, the graph would be like this. The graph would be always it starts at 0.
let me change the color so it starts at 0 continuous goes to 1 this is your CDF of continuous random variable and for the discrete random variable it would be a staircase waveform one this is zero and if it is a mixed CDF it would be a combination of the both you will find a graph like this and then a discontinuity and a step waveform this is for your mixed CDF so whatever may be the type of CDF always the graph starts from 0 and ends at 1 so let us revise so cumulative distribution function is defined as fx of x is equal to probability of x less than or equal to x it means that the CDF is the probability of the random variable taking all the values less than or equal to x and the properties of CDF are fx of minus infinity is equal to 0 fx of infinity is equal to 1 fx of x greater than or equal to 0 less than or equal to 1 it lies the value of it lies between the 0 and 1 and the fourth property fx of x1 less than or equal to fx of x2 given that x1 is less than x2 the fifth property states that the probability of x greater than x1 less than or equal to x2 is equal to cumulative distribution function f of x of x2 minus fx of x1 In the last property fx of x1 fx of x plus is equal to fx of x and next the types of cdf depending on the random variable we have this first one continuous cdf second discrete cdf third one is mixed cdf so hope this information will help you thank you